Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Portsmouth Road to Glory, where we are top of the league, technically. On goal difference and points, we are level with Charlton Athletic, who haven't lost a game. I think we play them somewhat soon, but 24 points from 10 games. We're doing pretty well at the moment. However, the next game is a Carabao Cup game against Millwall, who, of course... Are a, they're definitely a stronger team than us, but we'll see how we get on. I am going to be looking at left backs in this episode. I mentioned it in yesterday's video. I am looking to improve in that area on the, pit, on the pitch. So I might as well scout some out now. I can also make offers now. It just means I won't get them until the window opens. But for sure, at left back, Brown is okay. I think he's decent enough. But as a backup, we've only got Daniels and Rue. Daniels has 50 pace, he's very slow, and Rue is 52 rated, so not really ideal, so I definitely need to invest in a new left back. Um, Close is of course now a central midfielder, so we can swap that. Um, at the moment I've been playing Curtis as a cam more than any other position, so I'm thinking of converting him to a cam, I, I don't know. The problem is, is I want Stevenson to play as well, he's already doing so well this season. He's got 81 dribbling with that plus 7. How ridiculous is that as a 63 rated cam to have 81 dribbling? But anyway, we'll look at left backs after the Millwall game, let's see if we can win. I actually just checked the championship standings and Millwall are 19th in the championship. So that actually, that makes them only a few positions higher than us in the whole league system, if that makes sense. Because we're top of League One. They're pretty much bottom of championship. Well, if, if you call it League One is the Premier League and League Two is championship and we're League Three, they're, they're just a few spots above us. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be too difficult. I don't know. We've beaten Burnley. We, we can do this for sure. I've gone with Curtis on the left and Stevenson as Cam. This is technically my first team. Uh, Harness, I thought, was going to have an injury. He did pick one up in the last game, but he's fine. There is no worries with Harness. He is on the bench. That's a lovely ball into Rogers. Going to put it over top for Stevenson. God, he's not going to get there. I think the idea was right, though. I need lots of supporting runs around my front three. Make some space. Make sure that we get in behind because we can do some serious damage. Here we go again. Into close. Back to Stevenson. On this right side for Naylor. Over for Wilkes. Can he score this? Yes, he can. We are 1-0 up. 10 minutes in. What a start in this game. Millwall in the mud. Not looking good for them at the moment. We haven't even lost the ball, I don't think. Did I kick off? I think I kicked off. So I don't think they've even touched the ball yet. And they're 1-0 down. That is amazing. Here we go. Way Their first touch. Oh, that's going to be a yellow card for sure. But I'm happy they haven't got the free kick because we all know the CPU can score a free kick. That's for sure. They're way too accurate. But I think we've managed to avoid the danger here. Although there will be yellow card. Oh, no. Get a tackle in. Yes. No penalty either. That could have easily been a penalty. And now we get forward again. In behind for Rogers. We've got the supporting run from close. I don't think I need him. I'm just going to go for it and chip him. Oh, my God. Did I actually try to chip the keeper there? I think I did. But it is a yellow card, as expected. Let's get this corner delivered in today. Come on. Delivered in today. Today. No puns, Matt. Shut up. Here is Watmer. I was going to shoot, but he's a centre-back. Probably not a good idea. Is Rogers. Turns his man. Hits it straight at the keeper. Corner coming in. It's a good ball in. It is 2-0. And it's clear as day that this guy is going to be... <laughs> Shut up. I can't help it. I cannot help it. Why? Why can't I just not make a stupid dad joke pun thing for once? What a header from the youngster. This is looking very good for us right now. 2-0 so early on. Oh, that's a lovely ball. He's offside. He hit the post anyway. But he was offside. I almost slid in again with um, with Watma. That would have been probably a second yellow card if I got it wrong. So I'm very grateful I didn't do that in the end. Right, we're going to push forward here. If we make it 3-0, that would be potentially game over. We've lost it, but got it back. It is so funny playing in League One compared to, you know, the Bundesliga, the Premier League, what I'm used to. The quality is just so much different. Oh, no. See, like that. I score that normally. I, yeah, <laughs> still getting used to it. 
And that's going to be it for the first half. Brilliant. This might be one of our best performances so far this season. And it's in the Carabao Cup. Imagine if I could get to, I don't know, the quarters of this competition. That would be absolutely brilliant. If they want to get back into this game, they need a goal now and they're going to get it. Oh, wow. The timing of me saying that. They need a goal and they get a goal within five seconds of me finishing my sentence. Why is he shushing me? You guys have been terrible. Don't shush me. I'm going to make them pay for that. Karma, okay? You shush me, you're going to lose 3-1 now. I'm trying to just find a gap. See if I can do it. Pass it backwards. Oh, that was kind of lucky that I kept possession there. Oh, my God. And again, very lucky. Here's Naylor into Stevenson. Good first touch. Oh, my God. Where do I go? Where do I go? There's nowhere to go. Give me a pen ref. No, he's, he's injured. No. Stevenson's injured. No. Oh, it might be bad. I'm going to take him off. But that's that's not good. I really, really hope he's okay. Uh, we're going to bring in Minoga at centre back. And I'll bring in White as well. Please, please don't be too serious. If he's out for a few months, I'm going to be absolutely devastated. His development will be stunted. It will be slowed down by a lot. Oh, Okay, this is getting a little bit shaky now, isn't it? We need to be careful. Oh, just give them the ball then. Yeah. Good idea, Matt. Just give them the ball. Fantastic play. Right, just get the subs on. Whack it out. That's a nice ball. Here we go. Go on, Rogers. He is quick. He's quicker than a defender, that's for sure. He's going to hit it across the keeper. And it is 3-1. There's the karma. Shh, shh. Unlucky. Unlucky, this player, man. He has changed the team since he came in. I was doing okay with Harrison. He's a decent striker. But this Morgan Rogers guy, unbelievable. I hope that's his first name. I hope I haven't been getting that wrong. I, I think he might just be the superstar that Wamangi Tuka was in Schalke, in the Schalke save. He, he could be that kind of player for us. He is so, so good. It is Morgan Rogers. His first goal in the Carabao Cup, but for sure not the last. Oh, it could be more. Oh, it could be. Go on, Wilkes. Finish it. Go on. No. <laughs> it could have been four. I think it's it's done anyway, but I, I want to I wanna pile on the misery now. It's Millwall after all. You know, a lot of people don't like Millwall. I don't necessarily hate them. I don't like them either. But since they, they shushed me when they scored, no, I'm not having that. I think he's going to kick the goal kick and it's done. The referee should be blowing his whistle here. Actually, no, don't, don't. No, we could have gone on one more attack. But it is done, guys. We go through. And I bet you we're going to get a Premier League team again. I wonder who we'll get. I swear if we get a Liverpool, ooh, a Tottenham game, something like that. Oh, that'd be so funny, but annoying and difficult at the same time. Here goes the bad news. What's it going to be? Five days. Thank God for that. Stevenson is going to be out for the next game, but that is it. I mean, technically he could play, but I'm not going to force it. He doesn't need to be rushed back. He is a young player and we've got so many other options. I mean, Curtis will play at Cam. It's fine. Harness can go out on the left side. So we've got Fleetwood Town up next. They are 12th, so literally mid-table. We want to try and get another three points and stay as far away as possible from the outside of the top two. We, we want to get automatic promotion. So as long as we are clear of Doncaster, Lincoln, those kind of teams, I'm happy. I'll take a second place this season for sure. Well, we've got Harness in straight away here. Explosive start. Oh, oh, I've run into trouble. We've still got it. Play it backwards. And inside. Inside again. Turn. Finish it. Go on. What a start that would have been. So close there from Rogers. Oh, we almost won that. That would have been a very dangerous moment for Fleetwood there. Put it through. Oh, what a ball. What a ball that is. Harness. Cannon was in the box and I couldn't get it to him. It was well defended in the end. But we're looking good in this game. Ball goes in. Brown's there. It's cleared out. Okay, we're going to get a throw though. He's not going to keep that in, surely. It has been a good start. But of course, you want to see goals. You want to get goals after all these chances. Let's see if we can do that now. Curtis. Oh, go on. Harness makes it 1-0. There's the goal we were looking for. And it's Harness again. This guy scores. He scores goals for us. He's a brilliant, brilliant player. Here we go. On the break again here. Put it through for Rogers. 
Are they going to be able to stop him? Oh, they are. He's a quick defender, but look at this. The inside pass to Day? What? What is Day doing there? Um, <laughs> I am probably just as confused as you are. What is my left centre-back doing there? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to complain because he scored, but... I mean, okay. <laughs> sure. What a goal that was, though. The finish from a centre-back that's probably got 20 finishing. Unreal. We are in the second half now. Looking to get off to a bright start. Here goes Rogers, In the box. Oh, it was close. Curtis was coming in. We could have made it 3-0 there. And that definitely would have been game over. Fleetwood looked pretty good on the break sometimes. But they just haven't really had any big opportunities. This could be their first one of the second half. Is he going to get a cross in? Minogue's chasing him down. Oh, I've just missed the tackle so badly. There goes the cross. It is blocked out. I was just thinking before, you know I haven't drawn in the league yet. Is this the longest I think I've ever gone without drawing in, in the league? I, I think it might be. That's not good. That's not good at all. It is 2-1. I really wanted the clean sheet as well. I'm so sad about that. I've been really trying to get that clean sheet and I just... I don't know. Lapse of concentration. 2-1 it is. I guess we should just score again then. Let's see if we can. Here is Rogers. Oh, it's a lovely run from Cannon. Can he cannon it in? No, he can't. Good save. That was a very good save. I was pretty sure that was going in. We should be okay, though. Just don't make any stupid mistake. There's one minute of injury time left. Oh, no. Do not let them score now. Well done, Brown. Okay, that should be it. Good. Another three points, but no clean sheet. We definitely need to improve defensively. That is our downfall. Harrison has completed his poacher development. It's going to take 48 weeks for him to go up to 67. I think it's very clear that this guy is not going to get much better, but he's still a good player. But we cannot train any of his stats now. It is done. He cannot really improve any further. Um, Hiwula here is now a left winger. He goes up to 64 rated. To be fair, I've not even used him yet. I should give him a go. He could be very decent for us. But anyway, I forgot to take a look at left backs before the last game. So let's have a look now. First target is Jaden Brown from Huddersfield. We'll go ahead and scout him. He's got 10 months remaining on his contract as well. So that will make things a bit cheaper. Then we have a Sunderland player who remembers Hume. He was actually very decent. Also, contract expiring in the next 10 months. Let's go ahead and shortlist him. We've also got Tom Pierce from Wigan Athletic. I think he could be a good option. Six foot one as well, which is nice. A bit more physical presence down that left side. Why not? I'm pretty sure there's a guy at Rangers that I remember. Is it BAS? Is it Bassey? Calvin Bassey. I think that might be him. Is that him? Yes. This guy looks really good. I love the fact that he's quick, but he's also really strong. Aggression is one of his best stats as well. We could look into him. I think, to be honest, that's probably enough for now. I think they're all really good options. Uh, they all have different, I guess, aspects to their game that they're better at. I know that, you know, you could go with a slightly shorter option in a five foot nine left back like Jaden Brown, or we could go for bit more bulky physical players like Tom Pierce, Calvin Bassey or Hume, who's I think probably going to be the best on the ball, a bit more of a technical player. So we will scout these guys. Uh, no idea how much they're going to cost us, but I think they're good options. It's that time of the month, guys. Let's see who we get in our Youth Academy report. So we've got Liam Chadwick, probably going to be a striker, right? Or maybe a right or left winger. We've got Owen Cummings. Not the best name. Um, Ryan Hogg. We've got Hugo Mitchell, Ryan Bolton, Adam Clements, and Sean Seymour. Seymour? I don't know. But they look average, except from maybe Owen Cummings here. Oh, 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 my God. 1.7 million. What? Please be a left back. Oh, he's right footed, though. Oh, no. I'm still taking him, obviously. Um, wow. What about Ryan Hogg? 
900k. Okay, we'll take him. Uh, 110,000. I mean, rejected. Hugo Mitchell could be okay, but I think I'll scout him another month. Uh, 275 here for Ryan Bolton. Potential's not great, though, is it? I think, unfortunately, he's not going to be good enough. Clements, probably not going to be good enough either. And this guy definitely isn't going to be good enough. A potential of 47 to 65, 90k. No, that's not going to work. But we'll keep hold of Hugo Mitchell here. We'll scout him for another month. But here we've got the youth squad reports that we've already got. Players at the club already. We've got um, Ryan Moody. He actually could be very good for us in the future. His potential has been narrowed down to 68 to 88. We've got Charles John. We already knew that this guy could be very, very good. His potential is incredible. But wait, look at Cummings' potential. He's 64 rated now. Oh my God. But he's a winger. Ah, it would have been amazing if he was left footed and a left back. But that's fine. We can't use him just yet because, of course, he's not 16. It's not going to let us. So we have to wait. Isaac Guest. Mm, not looking great, is it? Hmm, we'll keep hold of him for a little bit longer. Ryan Hogg is a central midfielder. Okay, we've got some decent opportunities to bring in a midfielder at least. Okay, well, we'll keep scouting these guys, but we got, again, very lucky. The Cummings guy looks amazing. I might have to change his name, though. <laughs> I don't really want to be saying that word constantly. But anyway, up next, we do have Northampton. Just quickly, though, Harness is now a left winger, so we'll go ahead and convert him. He's been brilliant out on that left side. Uh, Northampton in 19th, so let's go ahead and do a match sim here. Come on, give us a win. Hey, a 2 0 win. Rogers with a double. What a player. Oh, and Charlton lost. No way. Charlton lost to Lincoln. Wow, Lincoln City. Good job. That has closed it a little bit in terms of the gap between second and third. Two points is all it is now, but we are three points clear of Charlton Athletic after 12 games. That is fantastic. Actually, I wanted to check. When do we play against Charlton? Oh, we've got them soon. We've also got Hull City. Some big games coming up. And then we've got Lincoln in November. Okay, we've got some of those big games coming up. We need to keep winning. Keep winning. Next, we've got Accrington Stanley. Again, should be a winnable game. This time at home, we're going to go with the actual match simulation instead of the quick sim. But um, yeah, I'm expecting a win here. Absolutely a win. They are, I think it was 18th. So they're not having a good season. Whereas, you know, we're having a good season. We're doing well. Look at the possession. We are all over them. There's our first chance, which was saved. It's going to be a corner from Wilkes. Oh, it was another chance. Yeah, we, we have dominated this game so far. Are they going to get to 20% possession? Are they going to do it? Hey, they did it. Oh, no. They could score. No. Good tackle. Oh, we're in. Are we in? Oh, penalty. Hey, we've got a penalty. Let's take it. Wilkes is the man to step up. Is he actually our best penalty kick taker? I don't think he is. Brown is with 65. But I'm going to go with Rogers. actually. I want him to be top scorer this season. So we're going to go into this top left corner here. And it's a beautiful penalty. I could have put a bit more power on it. But there we go, guys. We do take the lead. Oh, my. I just clicked the wrong button. Oh, my God. I meant to just jump into the sim again, and I jumped to result. <laughs> Thankfully, we haven't lost. It's a 1-0 win. Thank you to that penalty. Jeez, that was close. It is a big one now, though, guys. Time for Hull City away from home. I did think I'd need to change the team a little bit more because it's a game that's come so quickly. But actually... I think we're good to go. I, I guess Harrison will probably have to come on in the second half for Rodgers. Let me just compare their stats, by the way. Get an updated version. So, as you can tell, Rodgers is better at shooting, passing and dribbling. Obviously, he's slightly quicker as well. It's just the physical presence. He doesn't have as much strength, but who cares, right? Rodgers gets the ball to his feet all the time, and he's absolutely fine. Uh, I might bring in Cannon for this one instead of Naylor. Convert him to centre mid there. Um, and you know what? I'm going to go with Nikolaisen as well. So we've, we've changed up the team just a little bit. 
Hull City was almost the other team I chose to do for this road to glory. And it came down to just the feeling of playing with the team itself. I played a few games with each team and I just fell in love with the Portsmouth team so, so easily. I think Hull City have a great team. I was really interested in their defence. They've got some great young players coming through. But ultimately, oh, I just there's something about Portsmouth. I love the kits that they've, they, that they've got. I love having the blue, white, red. I think it's really cool. And Fratton Park, man, you can't go wrong with Fratton Park, even though this stadium is glorious as well. Is it the KCOM, they call it, I think it is? But yeah, we need to beat them at the KCOM. And here goes Wilkes against his old club, of course. We signed him from Hull City. Curtis, oh, went for the shot, but it's fallen for Rogers here, and he's offside. Oh, that's unlucky. Yeah, good luck stopping him. You're just not going to. Go on. Go on. Pass it inside. And again. Go on, Curtis. Yes. What? What? No way. I thought it was in. I, I, I said yes, as in it's gone in. He's missed from there? Oh, my. That is embarrassing. But Wilkes, what a header that was. Unfortunately, we couldn't keep possession there. Oh, no. Oh, he's missed. No way. Oh, that is hilarious. We have both missed absolute sitters, really. Their chance was easier than mine, I think. Both terrible misses. What is going on in this game? Unbelievable. And why did I just give that to Cannon when I could have found Wilkes on the right? Starting to struggle a little bit here. They're playing very well. Oh, my God. My defending at times is interesting. But look at this. Harness is in. Come on, keep going. Just get towards the goal. Can you finish it from there? Nope. Long makes the save. It's another missed opportunity. 30 minutes in. How has there not been a goal yet? This has been crazy. Surely this time. Gosh, that defender's quick. Onto the right side. Oh. Oh, Rogers. He's too good. That's his first chance of the game. And he buries it, of course. He is clinical. Love this guy. Absolutely love him. I didn't think I'd be caught up here, but then I had to just go onto that right side and hit it. Okay, right. We've got the 1-0 lead. Probably against the run of play a little bit. Hull have been very decent in the last 10 minutes or so. That should be it for the first half, though. I am so, so pleased we're winning this game. We really shouldn't be. This deserves to be a draw so far. But it's going to be an interesting second half. I know Hull have what it takes to beat me. They have a very dangerous team. So we need to be super careful in this second half and go for another goal. Well, okay. It's been a while since I gave away a goal like that. But it's time. Clearly, it's time. I hate it so much. I hate it. We all do it. We all do it at some point. You try and pass it out from the goal the goalkeeper and they score oh geez oh that's not what I wanted in this second half his name's Lewis Potter as well that's brilliant let's get one back as soon as we can here come on here is Rogers we'll look at the left side here harness just run at the defense here across the keeper whoa good save just about tips it over the bar should I make a change I guess I should I think Rogers is gonna have to come out for Harrison and I'm going to bring in Stevenson and White, not Naylor. I want to bring in White. He's fully fit, ready to go for the final 30 minutes or so. It's always risky doing a triple change. You know, if I get an injury or whatever, I need to make a change. I can't. Oh, that was close. So hopefully we won't have any problems. But the benefit of having three fresh players come on at the same time is pretty good as well. Look on the left side again. Loads of space for Harness. It's not the greatest of passes. I'm going to go back post for Wilkes. No, I didn't put enough power on it. Wilkes was right there as well. I've just completely ruined that. I needed a little bit more power on that and he would have been in. And now we could be in a bit of trouble. Oh, Nikolaisen, well done. Oh, really? No way. Oh, my God. I thought he was going to turn. He didn't. Jeez, that was close. Way too close. No, 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 no. We could have lost it. We could have lost it right at the end there. I am an imbecile with my defending sometimes. Sometimes, you say? <laughs> All the time, sorry. Here comes the corner. 
Honestly, what have I done? Imagine losing this game after you give them a goal like I did. Shocking. There's still time to get a winner, though. Oh, hello. Stevenson is not very quick, though. That's the problem. He's on the slow end. But he could be the hero here. Come on. Finish it. Oh! Oh, my God! Stevenson! You know all the Premier League clubs are going to be watching this kid right now. That is superb. Cuts inside. And just... Oh, he finesses it into the top right corner with just perfect accuracy. The keeper, no, no chance. What a moment that is. I almost threw this game away. And then right in the last few moments, the last attack we're probably going to have. And I've won it. And it's going to be three points in the bag. Late Drama FC. That is what we are. That is now officially our club name. Late Drama FC. It's not even over. They could get on the attack here and score. Please don't though. Please. I, no. We don't, we don't want that. Try and get a tackle in. Oh no. No. Oh. He's put it wide. And that is the end of the game. Woo. That wasn't stressful at all. No, no. And with that win, we are five points clear of Charlton. Clearly, they've dropped points again. We are absolutely nailing it. This season is going nice and quickly as well, which is what we want. We know our team is good enough to win the league now, for sure. I know it's good enough. It's about consistency. It's about keeping that up. So I'm super, super happy with this. Our next game is against Bristol Rovers. They're down in 13th place. Sunderland are down in 20th. Come on, guys. You're better than that. You're so much better than that. But we are top of the league, 14 games in. Of course, there's still quite a lot of time to go, but I'm really happy with the progress. Of course, we've now got a few left backs that we're going to be keeping an eye on. So maybe we'll be signing one of those guys in the January transfer window. But thank you so much for watching this episode. In the next one, I think I'm going to do a, a, an episode full of highlights. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I do like doing the live the live stuff. So we'll see. But I obviously want to make some progress and uh, get towards that window sooner rather than later. But yeah, thank you for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next episode tomorrow.